Hey, I want to share my top five scariest movies that I've seen in my life. Scariest may be a little bit over the top, but as of this date, uh, what is it, October 26th, uh, these are the five that come to mind. So it's, they're not in any kind of particular order, but uh, I just want to tell you what they are. All right? See behind me, we got my we got our Halloween stuff out. There's a little Count Dracula. Spider is my little... What is that? That's my little skeleton. So uh, let's get to it. So I may be dating myself on some of these some of these movies, but uh, that'll be fun to do. So the first one on my list, I'm going to show you an image of the movie. Maybe you can figure it out. There it is. Give you five seconds to figure that out. One, two, three, four, five. You haven't figured it out? That's the Omen. Thing came out in the early 70s. 70, yeah. I can look it up, but I want to see 72, 73, around that era, around that time frame. So I didn't see it in the movies, but I saw it on TV and scared the crap out of me. And I think the most scariest part of the movie, let me get my face back on here, is the kid, Damien. I mean, just the name alone scares the hell out of you. You know, he's got the 666 engraved in his head. You know, that's supposedly the mark of the beast. The uh, choir music, you know, that scary choir music. Not that uh, not that hallelujah music, but that very scary uh, gothic music, right? So that, that movie scared, uh, it's definitely scared me, man. I was probably 10. I mean, most of these movies, I was probably around 10. So that's the first one that came to my mind. The second one, I'm going to show you. You tell me if you know what movie it's in, if this is. All right. Just the house alone scared the, lot, scared the hell out of me. So I, did, I saw this in the movies. If you don't know what it is, it's Amityville Horror. Amityville Horror. So, uh. I actually read the book. It was a school uh, school book report I had to do. I don't know why I picked that book. I'm not a. I don't like scary movies. You know, I'm more of a drama guy and uh, uh, history history type of guy. Those are the kind of movies I like. Uh, but anyway, you know, you're with your friends, and this is what happens. You got to go see these movies. And I remember the time this this was a big uh, big thing in uh, Long Island, New York. Right, that's where. The, George, uh, George Lutz killed six of his family family members because he thought he heard, uh, you know, demons telling him to kill his family. But in actuality, it was more of a, um, I don't know, a hit job or some, something like that. But anyway, uh, was, to me, it was very scary. You know, the, 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 the windows, the, uh, you know, voice, get out, get out. That scared the hell out of me, you know. Um, just to see the imagery of it all. There's a pig in the window. So uh, that was another movie that, you know, scared me. So let's go to the third movie. And this one I know everybody's going to know regardless of what age you are. I mean, pretty much what age you are. But let's see if you guys know what this one is. Of course, Michael Myers. Come on. Come on. Can't have a Halloween without Michael Myers. I mean, it's the the sonification of of Halloween. So uh, yeah, this movie was creepy. Seventy uh, eight, I want to say. Seventy eight. Uh, you know, the breathing, never dying. You know, escaping the uh, psych ward. The imagery. You know, John Carpenter. You know, he's pretty good at that sort of stuff. You know, he did the thing. Also. Which wasn't really scary, but you know, it was, uh, you know, I guess a scary movie in the sense of that genre. But uh, Halloween, this, just the uh, the music. I mean, come on, that that's golden. Um, you know, as a matter of fact, it's been on AMC this whole month, and every time it's on, I gotta watch it, right? So, uh, you know, the the, the, uh, the images of the fall of the tr leaves falling off the trees. Uh, you know, coming up and popping up out of nowhere, you know, just 
towards the end of the movie when he's laying down and all the way he just stands up and Jamie Lee Curtis has no idea he's behind uh, she's he's behind her I mean just just got your adrenaline going so that's the third one let's go to the fourth one it's fourth one I'm not sure if you guys will know this movie but that's Joan Collins pre-dynasty uh, and the movie was Tales from the Crept and I saw this in the movies also so it was actually uh, four scene uh, four stories in one movie right this one stood out because it was Santa Claus right it was Santa Claus oh you know Uncle Santa come and give me a toy you know you know this guy was going around killing people with an axe so uh, I think what she if I remember right she killed her husband right threw him down the stairs and then somehow the Santa Claus got to her house after he killed her after she killed her husband and he wind up um, killing Joan Collins right uh, there was another another there was another uh, they were like half-hour movies the other one was I think this they were in a concentration camp and this sticks out of my mind very vividly where the can the the prisoners overtook the camp and what they did is they sent the they would they got the dogs and they starved the dogs and what they did is they took one of the guards who was you know watching over them and put him in a room right with razor blades on the side it was a small room you could barely fit in it and they walked him into the room and they let this, the dogs out who haven't eaten probably you know a couple of days and I can only imagine what that must have been like, but I'm sure they were happy that they did that to this guard at the time, right? But uh, very, uh, very creepy stuff. So that was uh, that was a good movie too. Uh, I forgot the other two scene, uh, the other two uh, scenes or skits, but uh, those two were the main ones that I remember. And the last one, like I said, not in any kind of order. I saw, I want to say recently, but I was an adult, right? And I think you probably know what this is. Ready? Yeah. Samara. I think that's her name. This movie scared the crap out of me. I watched this movie at the time with my girlfriend, my wife now. And uh, The Ring. Right? Uh, <coughs> I think it's a Japanese movie that uh came over to the states uh really really scary movie i mean it was it was creepy the you know just look at that girl's face uh the storyline it was i think set in seattle where it's always dreary and rainy um you know the story itself if you listen to the uh, what was it if you got a phone call you had like seven three days to live or seven days to live or something like that and you know of course the climax is when she comes out of the the tv you know and just it's basically scares the person to death i don't think he i don't think she does any kind of uh you know strangling or stabbing with a knife or whatever but it was just scaring someone to death because she popped out of the you know she would just appear out of nowhere so uh yeah those are my five as of today of course there's so many others i mean Friday the 13th, The Screams, the, uh, Freddy, uh, you know, um, after a while, you know, as you get older, it kind of become silly and, and you know, kind of uh, comedic, but The Ring to me wasn't comedic, that was, that was, that was good, man, that was, that was, uh, that was very good, so I will say uh, these five, these five that I mentioned today, I, I think The Ring uh, beats it, I hadn't seen The Ring in a long time, too. Uh, it doesn't really come on that often, but the Halloween's always on, you know, especially now. But so I'm always watching that. And the Omen, once it's on, I got to sit there and watch it, you know. Tales from the Crypt doesn't really come on that much. Uh, who could forget The Shining? I mean, another one, the two twins, right? You know, you see, and you've seen his progression um, of the, of Jack Nicholson going crazy, right? Um, yeah, I mean, it wasn't like a slasher movie, but if you think about it psychologically, it, it scares the hell out of you because you're kind of thinking like, wow, you know, this this 
could happen to me, right? But anyway, those are my five uh, five scary movies as of today. Maybe they'll change, but you know, let me know what your five are. You know, put them in the comments. And maybe maybe these five are the same for you. For, you know, for yours. But uh, let me know. You know, subscribe to my channel. I I would appreciate it. Give me a like, and uh, enjoy the rest of the night. I know I'm gonna watch the Yankee game, and hopefully, they don't. Uh, Blow this second game too. We'll see what happens. And uh, looking forward to that. So that's about it for me. So have a good night. And uh, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.